I'm Pachuco Hussein, you're watching Musica LA. Welcome to Musica LA. I'm your host, Jessie Loesch, and we are at Eastside Love in historic Boyle Heights, right across the Mariachi Plaza. This place is amazing. We are lucky enough to have the talented and very stylish Pachuco Jose. Pachuco Jose, I am guessing that you were not born with the name Pachuco Jose. So could you tell us a little bit about how you came by the name and maybe a little bit about the culture and the history of Pachuco itself? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, um, I was born at Jose Lara. Was, uh, uh, Pachuco, the name Pachuco was given to me by uh, my friends out on the streets, uh, the, the clubs where I used to hang out. and. Uh, and uh, even the people, uh, the same people, some of the pastors at, at my old church, they used to call me that because they, you know, they're all veteranos. Uh, and, and when I, you know, I, I like to go to church all dressed up, and uh, whenever they saw me dressed up, they used to call me, you know, uh, Orale Pachuco. And so it, it, it stuck with, I stuck with it, you know, and uh, I was looking for the na a name for the band about almost 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, and uh, I, was, I started to pray for a name, you know, I always pray to my Lord. Anyway, so he gave me the name after, you know, after much prayer, I thought, you know what, everybody knows me by Pachuco now, so why change it now? So, and then I started Pachuco Say Los Diamantes. Um, and uh, uh, Pachuco's uh, originally came back in the 40s. Uh, um, you know, there's, there's a little bit of controversy where they where, where it really started, you know, some people say it started in El, El Paso, El Chuco. Um, there's also, uh, you know, um, to, to give you a, a little bit of uh, history of, of some of the artists back in the, in the days that were representing the Pachucada, uh, Alberto Martinez Resortes was a, a, in a Mexican cinema. He was a Mexican artist, a dancer, uh, and uh, he started as a Pachuco. And uh, and uh, and then Tintan, everybody's fam uh, familiar with Tintan. Tintan was also an, an artist of the Mexican uh, cine Mexicano. And uh, you have Cab Calloway as well. And this is all in the early 40s during uh, World War II. You know uh, where they also had uh, uh, you know uh, many people don't know these or uh, but the Zoot Suit riots back in uh, 1943 here in, uh, in in LA actually it, it went beyond LA went to San Diego Chicago Chicago and um, and uh, the music but uh, uh, Pachucos was really there wasn't really that much music you know uh, I read that uh, in the 1940s, the uh, Chicanos used to cross over here to the uh, to uh, downtown LA to hear the big bands, and so they created their own music, which is Pachuco Boogie. Tonight, unfortunately, I don't have my band Pachuco Celos Diamantes, which which is something that we do. We do Pachuco Boogie. Tonight, I will be playing with a, a different band that we do, you know, uh, uh, rock and roll. It's different, but uh, the, the Pachucada, you know, it's it's. Um, there was a revival back in the 70s, uh, but but it, it kind of drifted away from. What it really was, you know. But uh, we're trying to keep it alive here at the Eastside Love with the Pachuco Boogie Show, and uh, we try to keep it, you know, as authentic as possible. You know what I mean? And uh, so, yeah, Pachuco's. You know, a lot of times people confuse up Pachuco's with uh, rock and roll or music. You know. I'm, I may confuse that because I wanted to ask you that you played a tribute to rock and roll yeah. a while ago and I was looking at a lot of your videos in there. Your sound reminds me a lot of the big band that my grandfather used to play yeah, and yeah. swing and even Bossa Nova. So I was wondering what, aside from Pachuco Boogie, what your musical influences are or any of your childhood favorites that you have that you feel may influence your own musical style. Well, you know, music is... is uh there's so much out there, you know, yeah. there's so much out there and uh, I really started, uh, a lot of people don't know this, I was born in El Salvador, I came here in, 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 in the early 80s, 1980, and as a young kid I always liked uh, Elvis Presley, you know, uh, rock and roll music, and I think that's how I started rock and roll, then I got into rockabilly, which is, you know, uh, and, and during the 50s, Elvis Presley uh, uh, is one of them, you know, Carl Perkins, uh, I got into rockabilly, and then when I um, I started getting deeper into the music, and I discovered that you know it wasn't just Elvis Presley. There was so much talent, the names that you never even heard before, you know. Uh, and then you start digging, collecting records, going to swap me, collecting records. You start finding finding out of all these artists that you never heard of, and then you realize, hey, wait a minute, Elvis was not the only great you know musician. And then you start finding all these guys, and then you go even deeper, you know. And I got into the 40s, the Pachucada more, and uh, Pachuca Boogie more uh, about 15 years ago. 
you know what I mean? I was in Las Vegas and I was, I was high, you know, and uh, we have been smoking with my with my ex and a bunch of friends. And I heard this song, Marijuana Boogie, Mar Marijuana, Marijuana, Marijuana Boogie. And I, I fell in love with the song because I was a pothead. I, you know, back in those days, thank God I've been clean for 10 years now and serving the Lord. But you know, that's when I, the first time I heard Lalo Guerrero, you know, and he had that big band, but he also had that rumba, the, the danzón and, uh, you know, all the Latin styles that, that I grew up with as well, mambo, you know what I mean? So that's how I got to get into the, the 40s, you know. So 40s, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's uh, Pachuca Boogie started in the 40s, you know, then the 50s came and that was more rock and roll, rock and billy, you know. But I think a lot of us started rock and roll with the simple, you know, and then you start digging more. Some people go back in, even further to the 30s, you know, and all that stuff, but it, it's just so much talent out there. I loved also that on your videos, you when when their instrumentals playing, you come down from the stage to dance. Oh yeah. Is that have you always been a dancer? Yeah, you know what? Uh, as a little kid uh, in, in El Salvador, I used to watch uh, resortes. You know, uh, in, in El Salvador, we watch a lot of Mexican cinema, the black and whites. And uh, I, I was always uh, my dad was a, is, a, is still you know he still dances and he had a way of dancing and I, I think I, I never really saw you know. People ask me, did you take classes or anything like that? I think it just came natural from the heart. And, uh, and you know, uh, the Mexican cinema just, you know, gave me more ideas of what I, now, you know, what I really wanted to do as far as dancing and music. But yeah, I do that sometimes, you know, I, I come off the stage, depending on the situation, you know. The, yeah. Do you think, so it comes from your heart. Can you share that with me? Can you show me a few moves? Can I show you a few moves? Yeah, okay. what can you teach me? All right. Uh, oh, you want me to, uh, yes, as, I a, do. as a couple or? Uh, what have you got? Let's do it. Ooh, what have I got? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm I'll, supposed to. Uh, I'll mirror you. <laughs> All right. You're going to well, see improv with Pachuco Jose and me. All right. Get well, ready. They're playing 50s. That's different, you know, but um, one of the things that they used to do back in the 40s, you know, they, uh, you know, the guys I heard back in the, in the 40s, a lot of the pachucos was, you know, they, they wouldn't really move that much because they didn't want to wrinkle their clothes. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but that's that's what I heard. Okay. And then I and then you see the scene in Mexicano where the guys are uh, are getting a little fancy and you know the shoulder, you know. Then then you have the the, the, the mambo. I love that. You know, it, a lot of times if you know how to dance. Cumbias, which is something that most Hispanics don't have, you know. Yeah. The thing about me is like, I, I, I like to move my hips, my shoulders, but I also, I, I don't know, like I said, it, I, you just have to really feel it, you know. Um, especially the mambo stuff, uh, it just comes natural for me, but if you, if you can start with the, uh, the cumbia style, you know what I mean? I think you've got the right shoes for this too. Uh, sometimes. I don't. It depends. It depends on the on, on, on the floor. You know, sometimes the floor is pretty rough. And, and, and you just give that. it though. You go for it. I try. I tell you what though. Most of the times I wind up scraping my shoes, <laughs> and I, I I ruin so many shoes when I do the splits. I was ruining the side of the shoes. <laughs> These are kind of fairly new, so uh, let's see how long they last. Maybe about a month or something. But every time I do the splits, you know, uh, I always ruin the side of the shoe. But it's, you know, um, you have uh, uh, people that, like again, as I was saying, swing dancing, you know. Um, it, it, everybody's different. It's really hard right here with no music. But thing about it is that you try to look good, but to me, when I dance with the girl, I try to make her look as good too. I like you know that. I, mean? I, I, I don't want to just show off my moves. I want to give the opportunity to the girl to look good as well. You know, so I, I teach a lot of girls to be a little um, flirtatious, you know, like when you're dancing with someone, you know, where the girl just, you know, you know what I mean, moves, kind of sexy. And I, you know, and, and I'm not saying that's what dancing is all about. What it is is that to me, it just brings, you know, it brings joy, it brings laughter. Look at yeah. you, you're laughing. Yeah. You know? And that's very important. And that's know. what I see in your videos is they see you coming down yeah. and they know what you're going to do and they go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Which is so great. Well, you know what? I. I I'm blessed to, uh, to have a lot of people that come support. I, I get to know a lot of people in a deeper way. Yeah. Not, just, not just, you know, you don't just, um, I don't believe in just doing shows and then you go home and you get paid, whether you got paid or not. 
and then you go home. I believe also in, in developing relationships with people, you know, I mean, personal relationships. And sometimes that could be a pain, you know, because uh, I, I, I have, you know, um, I, I love to get to know people. Uh, people follow up on me, you know, people that I get hired by, and uh, then I follow up on them. And I will develop this friendship, and then, uh, uh, and those same people that hire you, they come and see you sometimes, and, you know, and sometimes it gets a little hectic, you know, like today, we broke a string on the base, and I made you guys wait some time because I needed to fix it, but, but it's great. Uh, to me, it's like, uh, uh, I think musicians, we, we, everyone's gifted, and I think musicians, we have the power to bring people together. And Pachuco said, that's what I want. I want to bring people together. It's not just about the music or how good I look on stage or, because uh, honestly, I thank God for the musicians that I have because they're the ones that are, are playing the music and, and without them, you know, I, I I don't know what would happen, but I'm grateful to have people that are willing to work with me, you know what I mean? Well, you do look very good on stage. Thank you very much. Uh, I make my own tacuchos. That's what right? I wanted to ask you. Do you, I mean, is there a magical place that you get this clothing? Do you design it? Do you well, make it? I've been trying to get my clothing line for a while, but I have so, I've been juggling with music and what clothing. What is the name of your clothing line? It's, it's called Drape Shapes. Drape Shapes, uh, it, you heard it here. If you go to uh, www. That, <laughs> uh, productions that come and um, there's a, a website there and, and uh, you can get music through there but it's, it's been a it's been a while I've been trying to get it going I actually learned how to make my own threads uh, out of necessity you know what I mean I was broke and I uh, found myself praying one time and then I, uh, I had this idea that uh, you know why not make my own stuff but it didn't you know it took about five years to get it to where I'm at right now and I started with slacks, actually shirts and then slacks. And um, you started with the hard stuff. No, no, I, no. Shirt. I start with the shirts, and then I, I, I thought I looked at a coat one time. I go, there's no way that I'm gonna ever do one. And uh, I tried it one time, and it worked. But but I had to, you know, sacrifice a good one. And so actually, I had to sacrifice like four, several ones to get, you know, the waistline of this one and the, the shoulders of this other one. And it was hard, you know. But there, there are patterns out there that you can buy. But I learned myself. I nobody ever. Taught me. I, I mean, they, someone did teach me how to use a sewing machine. Good, right. But uh, as far as guiding me how, where this, you know, this piece goes, I just I learned it on my own. You know. So you have a clothing line coming up. Yeah. What else is coming up for Pachuco Jose? Well, we got a, a 2014. I believe is 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 not only a year, but it's it could be for you too, if you believe it in your heart. And uh, we got uh, we got a European show. Uh, we got an Italian show coming up, Get Rhythm, in, in March 2014. And where can we find out about it? Uh, go to Facebook and go to uh, find Pachuco Jose, Pachuco Jose Los Diamantes, uh, um, and also uh, Pachuco Jose Productions.com. And there's a website coming up, Pachuco Jose y Los Diamantes.com, that will be up within a month. And um, it, you will be able to see more information regarding uh, other shows. We got actually uh, another show uh, coming up in Mexico, Ro Calavera, which is where I think is very important. Uh, it's one of the biggest shows, Calavera, un saludo, Mexico. Uh, one of the biggest shows in, in, in Mexico, in Latin, the whole Latin America. And I think it, it's, it's very important. The Calavera is very important because it's a, it's a, it's un trampolín, you know, for, for, like it was back in the 30s, 40s, 50s in Mexico. Mexico is very important in the music, you know. So we got a, a Ro Calavera show in uh, mid, mid uh, 2014, Italy, 2000, uh, March 2014, and you know, and. and we all, we're always playing, we're always blessed. Uh, this is with uh, Pachuco de los Diamantes. I have a new, the, the new band that I'm working with is called uh, uh, Pachuco Z and his Jubilee Train. And uh, you know, it, there's a difference in the style of music that we play, Jubilee Train plays. You know, uh, believe it or not, we do, we play even gospel, but I'm trying to play, so it, 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 I'm trying to uh, bring a, a, a message across to the community, you know, a, a positive message, you know, bringing people together, as I was saying, you know. Yeah, you know, and, and one of the reasons, you know, we, we were talking about uh, how I started to like Pachuco uh, music, Pachuco Boogie, and I told you that I, the first time I heard Lalo Guerrero, I was high. And, and, and I've been clean for almost 10 years, and my thing is, it, it was a, the song uh, Marijuana Boogie that we even recorded it, and honestly, I don't, I don't sing it anymore because I, I think that, uh, uh, you know, God gives you the, the responsibility to, you know, to cherish what He's given you, and so I thought, you know what? I don't want to be a negative influence to kids because even when I heard that song, I wasn't a kid. I was uh, in my mid 30s, and, and it impacted me. And I thought, you know what? If, if it impacted my life as a, as an adult, how much more a little kid? So, uh, you know, we, we I, I try to stay I stay away from songs that you know uh, that put um, 
that are racist or, or stuff like that, Any, anything that creates violence, I stay away from. That's not what Pachuco says about. Pachuco says about bringing people together and um, bringing people together in the name of the Lord. So thank you, thank you so much. Muchas gracias. gracias. Thank you to Eastside Love. It's been an amazing venue. And make sure to check out Pachuco Jose's many websites for updates on his music and his style. We are Musica LA and we are about to see you perform, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Un saludo a los diamantes. Es el 